card was showing itself to me when I was shuffling. So we have creative. We have teacher. We have level four consciousness. And we have lost. Okay. We have draconian on the back of the deck. Mm, you know what I'm hearing from this is people pleasing. Some of you guys, you guys have been dealing with a very money, either like a person that was trying to use you for money or they're very money focused or a very manipulative person. Um, I also feel like you guys have been maybe trying to, um, what was, what did I just say? People please or just go along. Like you've been trying to keep the peace type energy with this person or in a situation. This is somebody who you had some type of attachment to, or there was maybe some type of issue with codependency, or um, your identity was tied to this person in some way. I feel like you guys are starting to break free from somebody who had a hold on you for a long time, or who you maybe built your life around, or you planned your life around, or something like that. Like you guys are maybe starting to be more expressive here. You maybe tried to save this person or help this person. And in the process of doing that, you actually learned maybe some very difficult lessons, but it also, you, you did grow through those experiences. You guys could be doing a lot of inner work at this time. But I just see this as you've emerged as an individual or you're taking control of your life. You're taking your power back. You're taking control of a situation. It says beginning to achieve self-mastery because I feel like you were really longing for change in your life. Um, it's like you guys are creating something. Some of you guys, of what you do for work or your purpose is around something that's like a creative ability. You guys maybe felt very, con you were maybe going through a period of time where you felt very confused or lost or you didn't really understand why everything was happening the way that it did. But this was also a period or was supposed to be a period of self-discovery. All right. So why is creative here? Yeah. Like I just said, career success. So some of you guys have some type of creative passion or creative ability that is leading to some type of career success or will or already has. It says retiring, retiring, fulfilled, and accomplished, finding success in your career, where it gives you a sense of purpose. So whatever you guys are doing for work or whatever you're feeling called to do for work is in alignment with your purpose. Life path five. Yeah, you don't let love tie you down, can handle various roles and duties. It's like you're coming into like a more independent energy where you're like, you're maybe juggling a lot of different things, but you're handling it, okay? Maybe you, you were dependent on somebody to help you do something. But I feel like you're starting to like be like, you know, I can handle this on my own. I don't need this person, especially if they're manipulative and they're using you in some type of way. We have Earth Soul. Yeah. Your desire to maybe have a family or like maybe kept you in a situation that was toxic for some of you. Yeah, in a karmic bond. But you're identifying that this is something that is uncomfortable and it's binding. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you from living in your authenticity. Um, and it says pre-birth agreement to fulfill. Yeah, you have some type of karmic contract with somebody, but it's become toxic. It's no longer serving you. You learn the lessons from it. They've, or I don't know if they've learned the lessons, but you have learned the lesson. All right, it says uncomfortable and binding relationships. Identify them and break free. So you're identifying that something is binding you. Something is holding you back and you are, you're emerging as an individual from the situation. Yeah, we have soul is royalty. So yeah, you're having a perspective shift. I think this with soul is royalty and perspective shift, you guys are seeing your worth here. You are seeing your divinity, okay? It says stepping into your own personal power, living your purpose as a leader. You guys are meant to be leaders. You guys are maybe dimming yourself or playing small for somebody here. Not in your full power. Somebody was dimming your light or just keeping you from achieving your true potential. And I feel like this was maybe intentional because, you know, sometimes people can see your worth. You just, I just saw 555 five, five on the camera. So, yeah, big major life changes are manifesting for you. But it's like, even though we sometimes, 
Can't see our potential. Other people can see it, okay? And they sometimes don't want us to see our potential because once you do that and the actions that you would take going forward after you know your worth would maybe not serve their serve them, their selfish intentions and their selfish wants. So yes, yeah, there's a phase of deep questioning, seeing through the lies and delusions, stop seeing life as you once did. Yeah, you're not seeing things. You're, you're seeing through some type of illusion here. You're seeing something for what it is. You're seeing that something was a lot. Yeah, you're stepping into new territory here. It says meant to try new things in life, a walk in unfamiliar territory, enabling success through learning. So also maybe a, a fear of the unknown was keeping you from breaking free from some type of situation. But yeah, we have self-love here. So it says busting through your limiting beliefs. Yeah, you'll discover your self-worth, a long journey to self-love. And we have hidden blessings. Yeah, finding the blessings and the struggles. Yeah, grow and expand beyond the limitations. Be grateful for all life experiences. Yeah. So how does this relate to this twin flame journey? Warrior spirit. So they're telling you, you've had some obstacles. You've had some challenges. All right. But you're getting through it. You're pushing through. Yeah, we have rock bottom. Must Yeah, they're telling you to persevere here. It says you need to persevere and you need to face situations head on. Yeah, master situations that challenge you. Learn to push the boundaries of life. Okay, what's this thing for my twin flames? Yeah, didn't I say that somebody was trying to dim your light? You're, you're a source of light. Source of light and positivity to others. Achieve personal growth and wisdom. So you guys are achieving some type of growth and wisdom, possibly through some type of tragedy or... What does the tragedy card mean for my collective? True love. It's like through some type of like ending or tower or something that like you, you didn't really want a situation to end up like it did. But this is actually leading you. Yeah, we have tragedy really wanting to come out here. This, this through this tragedy, look what you're getting. True love. It says experiencing true love in your life. Being in a loving long-term union, a selfless and unconditional love. And we have level 10 consciousness. That's the highest level of consciousness in this deck. All right. It says you live in your own spiritual reality. You are fused with the collective. You are able to channel divine power. Like I said, through the tragedies, it's, it's make, you're making your way to ascend, like ascending to like reaching your highest potential and true love. So what, where's, what's the energy that my collective's twin is in? What is the energy of their twin? Ooh, they're getting in alignment as well. You guys are getting in alignment. Okay, okay. This is what I like to see. Uh, they're not as evolved as you. But they're starting to become more sensitive. All right? They're starting to question things. Um, they're starting to act on their own values. They do have a long way to go, guys. I'm just going to be... They're, they're starting to, to seek answers and truth. And starting to like have like a spiritual awakening here. All right. So, yeah. Tell me more about what's going on with my, um, the twin. We have old soul. Yeah, they're, they're, this person's like trying to balance things out in their life. Or they're even maybe trying to bring the situation to complete completion as well. But it's like they're having some type of new spiritual awareness here. But with synchronicity, it says in events where your needs are met, strategically orchestrated messages fully aligned to your soul's purpose. So you and this person are kind of like going, you're on the same paths. But like, even if you guys are in separation, you guys are kind of on the same path in some way, but they're a lot less evolved in, than you. Let's do one more for your twin. Yeah, they're telling you to be patient. Didn't I tell you this person has a, wow, 10, 10 on the camera as well. I'm telling you, they're telling you that this person does have a long way to go, but they're telling you to be patient. It says, don't act if the timing isn't right. Prepare and take care of the details. Master the ability to wait. Maybe this person is trying to be patient with you or they're trying to be patient with themselves. So what does this mean for what's going to happen going forward here? Yeah. So there is going to be like a period of singleness. Um, yeah. Or it says meant to be single on a karmic level. Focus will be on your purpose, not love. Perfectly content with being single. So you and this person are not meant to be together right now. You guys are both supposed to be focused on becoming in alignment with yourselves or with your true, with your purposes, your soul's purpose. And then you guys are going to come together when the timing is right. But it's like with the synchronicity card here, you guys are starting to get in alignment. But you guys are both starting to see through some illusions here. Seeing the truth of some people, situations, things like that. 
So it's time to give me one more card. Singleness and we have long life. Okay, what does that do with singleness? Life balance. They just want you to know that things are coming into balance. Yeah, some type of connection is coming into balance. They're wanting you to be open to receiving. Yeah, and they're telling you that you will live a long life. Why is long life coming out, though? Criminal mind. Mm. It's like whatever you guys are dealing with, these challenges, these demons or whatever, you're going to conquer them. Yeah, the ego. Someone's going to overcome their ego. Yeah, it says a long life journey of learning how to overcome egotistic. Something about ego and like finding balance. Like you will always be trying to like find balance in your life. I mean, that's all of us, right? But it says dismantling the ego is a crucial step. The biggest block to your true self must, um, must explore the nature of your ego. Hmm. Okay. I feel like your, your twin could maybe be learning how to express themselves. So let's see what the current energy is. All right, what's happening here? This whole forever change, yeah. A new self, lasting changes, a love that transforms. Yeah, there's big changes and transformation happening here. Tell me more. Wow, guys, I'm telling you. You have a commitment coming in. We have wedding, a seeing a future with you. Someone's maybe trying to change to have a future with you or they are have come into a new self or they're wanting to make some big changes in their life to have a future with you and take things to the next level. They're choosing you. Well, we have fights here, though. What's fights? My rock. Maybe this person's coming in to fight for you. We're going to get more clarity on fights. Yeah, arguments creating drama, moments of tension. My rock. Loved and supported, solid foundation, security, and stability. Back to the day. Didn't I say you and this person are like both like kind of in sync with each other, like learning the same lessons or something like that? It says mirroring each other, something needs healing, seeing yourself in them. Yeah. And we have love activation. Yeah. Awakening, heart space, opening, twin flame ascension. So you guys are both in this energy. Yeah. Oh, and both like craving each other, feeling very passionate. You could be feeling that sexual energy. Um, so why do we have fights here? Separation. Yeah. Right now there's like things are kind of tense between you and this person. There was a fight or an argument. But they still do desire, like, they still love you. You still love them. They do still want something solid with you. But you and this person are in separation right now. So what's going to happen going forward? Did I see? It? Okay, timing. Something here about it's not maybe the right time. They're telling you that patience is needed. They're telling you that someone's holding back right now. Or they're telling you, and you're knowing that what? Love bomber. Somebody, you know that this person wants you to come to them. Oh, Someone's holding back from you, but you guys also know that this person wants your attention. Or you know that this person's still emotionally manipulative or something. What is Love Bomber? You know that there's, or maybe you guys know that you need to let go of this manipulative person. What does this have to do with the twin? Yeah, to have this commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Commitment promises making an official marriage in your future. Yeah, there's somebody that you guys know that you need to let go of. An ex, an ex that's manipulative or that's, yeah, love bombs you. What does this have to do with their twin? This person doesn't feel like they're heartbroken. They're going through it. They don't feel like they can move on from you. And they feel like they don't really know what, what's going on between the two of you. But this person definitely did take you for granted as well. Or they don't know if. What does this mean, face connection? What about slower apology? Risk. They're going to take a risk and try to mend this. But why is slower here? I feel like this person... What is the risk? 
there's somebody guys here that like i don't what is is this their twin who what is the, what's the energy between them and the twin flame what's the the energy but they, this is somebody that you keep repeating a cycle with what else yeah you missed this person stuck addiction okay so this person's it definitely has demons or something toxic addictions destructive ways of being but you know that what you guys have maybe had a choice or something here there's something that you need to leave behind to and i feel like this person has been holding back from you but not for much longer i feel like there's two different energies here i'm going to be honest with you i feel like there's one there's a person that there's a karmic in the mix that you need to let go of who's manipulative and they love bomb you you need to let go of this person to be able to have this engagement or this commitment with this other with your twin but hmm so you guys are like, I don't have another person, but like there's still like a, a cycle yet to be closed out with a very emotionally manipulative person. Like to completely close out a cycle, there's something you still have to have yet to learn from that situation or to do in that situation. Or you're maybe, uh, you're doing it now. It's almost like, you know what? You may be going through, like just say for example, this is like the person that was manipulative and that you're letting go. It's like the father or mother of your children, right? You're going to have somebody that comes in and it is your rock through that situation. That's what I'm almost getting from this. Like there's somebody here, your twin. I see you guys coming into union with this person, but I also see there being like arguments or drama or tension in another situation. But you have somebody that is going to love and support you that you're going to have solid foundation with and security and stability with this person. They will be your rock through some type of conflict. Hmm. So tell me more about what's happening here. Three of Swords. Yeah. What about the Three of Swords? The Page of Wands in reverse. What about the Page of Wands? Aries Leo Sag energy. The Knight of Wands. What what's this mean for my collective? So you guys are heartbroken over somebody, okay? I feel like you guys are heartbroken because you feel like maybe you wanted somebody to offer you something more stable or you feel like a situation had a, had a lot of potential but it never got to that point or you maybe feel like something is a missed opportunity or you feel like somebody's never going to be able to give you what it is, like that security and that stability. But I feel like that maybe that's why the, what the fight says, like you guys are heartbroken over a situation that never reached its full potential or something like that. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are focused on yourself, though. Looks like you guys are doing very well for yourselves. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, I cannot make this up. That there is some type of, it says, clinging to control stuck in old karmic cycles. You guys have been resistant to change and stuck. First, if you feel like you, you feel like your twin has been stuck and resisting change, you guys have to some degree as well. You guys have been clinging on to some type of situation that maybe failed or like didn't reach its full potential or how do I say this? Some of you guys, it's like a more of a mental thing. Some of you guys have not been realizing that you don't need another person. You don't, if, if you're dependent on this manipulative person, you're realizing that you don't need this person. You can take care of it yourself. Or something like that. But I see that you guys have been stuck in some type of old karmic cycle. And resistance to change some type of way. You and this person maybe could have been helping each other in some way. What does it mean for my collective? But yeah, I'm telling you. I can't make it up. This is somebody that you were maybe used to be married to. Or it was supposed to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability, happiness, all that money, family. This is a family situation, like a failed family situation that you guys have not completely, totally closed out that cycle. But it's not working. It says deep family conflicts, conflict over money, financial failure or loss of investment. Yeah. So now what's happening? 
And you guys have been doubting yourself. You're kind of going through a, going through a little bit of inner turmoil, low self esteem. Yeah, low self esteem and lack of confidence in yourselves and feel, fear, feelings of inadequacy have been keeping you in this situation. That it's, but it's not healthy. But I feel like you guys are finally coming out of that now with the four of swords reverse. It says you're ready to take action. Yeah, you're recovering. Yeah, I feel like you're about to do something and leave something behind. Or tell me about the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're leaving some type of connection behind. That was just that wasn't harmonious in the first place. Yeah, somebody feels very rejected by you as well. Why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here? The ace of cups are reverse. Yeah, there's no love there. You get nothing from that situation. Like it's it's it does nothing for you. You feel unfulfilled, you feel left out in the cold there. You feel unloved in that situation, but it's very disappointing. But that situation makes you feel empty. So now what's happening going forward as far as the twin flame situation? So we have seven of wands in reverse. We have the here font, Taurus energy, the three of wands. So maybe you guys are getting rid of this situation. You're letting that go. And then, or somebody maybe is about to surrender to this connection. I'm telling you, it could be a Taurus. What is the waiting? uh for what what's not really knowing what's gonna happen yeah not really knowing what's gonna happen going forward or you're just don't there's a lot of unknowns going forward yeah you guys could be feeling a little bit down or a little bit moody right now but the magician hold on i feel like they're what is what is the eight of cups it's like you guys walking away from an unfulfilling situation is manifesting a new passionate beginning. I, it's just very clear message here. Hmm. Telling you, it was a very unfair situation. Or you were dealing with somebody that was very dishonest. That did, doesn't take accountability. Hmm. Your twin is coming towards you, but it's kind of slow. Could be an earth sign. Like I said, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's moving towards you slowly, but they are coming towards you slowly with a pinnacle. All right. With that ace of pentacles. Stability. Tell me more about this. Knight of pentacles. But we have the queen of swords. Or maybe you guys have set very clear boundaries with this person that, you know, you've told them what you wanted. You told them what you won't deal with. You've been very direct with them. You're in this very independent energy and they know that they can't come towards you. Yeah, we have Queen of Pentacles and do we have the King of Pentacles too? Well, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like I did see the King of Pentacles on the back of the deck. So it's like that's what they're working towards, like being on the same level as you. Somebody could be a Capricorn. What about the um, Queen of Pentacles? Temperance, yeah. Eight of Swords. You guys are finally restoring balance in your life because you're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself. You're liberating yourself from a situation, escaping a situation. The tower, Scorpio energy. What about that? The three of pentacles, the five of cups. Somebody's maybe going to come in out of the blue, like that has regrets. See, why is the, what is this person? What is this energy? Hmm. They regret not committing to you. They, this is somebody that wants to make amends. They have regrets. But why is the 10 of... Maybe they have... They, like Somebody's coming towards you because they felt like they had an inability to commit to you at some point because they had a lot on their shoulders. But they have like... Their load has lightened now. So they're coming towards you. Yeah. And now this can maybe work out. You guys have both maybe lightened your loads. Okay? Like, you know what I mean? So I do see them coming towards you with regret right that they didn't co commit to you or how they handle the situation but they want to make amends here but i feel like this is after you and this person took a break from one one another and i feel like when you guys do come back together things will be different because we have this forever changed card here so there it looks like you and this person both had to go through periods of like decluttering your lives and your energy all right guys i'm